Hi, I'm Gloria Lee, a park ranger with the National Park Service, working right here in Lower Manhattan. Yes, there are national parks in New York Harbor, 23 different sites in all. Let me show you a few of them. Gateway National Recreation Area offers miles of beaches, wildlife preserves, and historic forts, where people can hike, bicycle, and bird watch, all in the boroughs of Staten Island, Brooklyn, and Queens, and at Sandy Hook in New Jersey. I've worked at four national park sites here in New York Harbor, Federal Hall, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and the African Burial Ground. And there are other great parks to see. You'll never get bored. All of these parks are really easy to get to by subway, car, or ferry. But for now, this series of video podcasts will let you take a closer look at the national parks of New York Harbor without leaving your home. So start clicking and check them out now. If you're looking for an overlook to see the lower harbor, there probably is no better than the one that we're standing on at Fort Wadsworth. There have been fortifications built here since the Dutch colonized the area. Even the Native Americans before that realized the strategic point we had here. Not only did you have this narrow body of water, which is easily defended, but it's a great place to look out across the harbor in both directions. You can see who's coming and who's going. The fortifications here at the Narrows were used as early as the War of 1812. They soon became obsolete and then were replaced by the structures we have here at Fort Wadsworth today, which date back to the Civil War. Battery Weed down at the water and Fort Tompkins at the top of the hill. The strategy was to engage the enemy as quickly as possible before they even entered into New York Harbor. And the shape of Battery Weed is a classic design it's a trapezoid so that you have three opportunities to fire at the enemy. You have your southern face, which can open up fire on an enemy vessel as soon as they're sighted. And as the vessel passes, you have the sea face that can direct fire at the vessel. And then when the vessel is past the fort, the northern side can also fire at the vessel. So you have three opportunities to sink that ship. Fort Tompkins wasn't even complete until after the Civil War, and by that point, they already knew that these structures had become obsolete. The cannon inside the fort, they had actually become too large for the embrasures or the holes from which they fire out of. In the 1890s, we have structures that are hidden behind hillsides, and they're made out of concrete, and they have what's called a disappearing gun. And this gun has the ability to actually sink down and hide behind the hill, and also hide the men there, and then only come up when necessary. The Coast Guard uses Fort Wadsworth right now for their vessel tracking station, which is a group of cameras strategically located that see any vessel entering or leaving the harbor. Fort Wadsworth is historically significant in the fact that we have these two remaining Civil War era stone forts and that's why the National Park Service is here now because the National Park Service has been entrusted with the nation's treasures 